Well, hello everyone, Lock Garden Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And today I just want to show you guys um, some pests that I found on my tomato plant and how to identify if you have a pest on your tomato plant. Follow the damage. This right here that you see, those leaves being gone there, follow the damage. You have that kind of damage there. Nine times out of ten on your tomatoes, it's going to be a tomato hornworm. But I had a little monkey ranch thrown. It's going to be kind of hard for my camera to focus on this pest here because it's like the same color as the leaves. But can you see that caterpillar there? Right there. What about now? Can you see it now? So I initially thought that it was the um, tomato hornworm, the infamous tomato hornworm. But upon looking at it here, it doesn't have the horn on the tail, if you can see that. And it's a lot thinner than the tomato hornworm. No, tomato hornworm is chunky. So I've narrowed it down to either the cutworm or the um, inchworm. The green striped cutworm or the inchworm. And like I said, follow the damage. And, you know, they blend in with the color of the leaves. So I went over here. I came over here and I saw this damage here. And if you look really, really closely, do you see him? Let me help you. How about now? How about now? And as you can see, it doesn't have that infamous horn. Never had these worms on my tomatoes before. It's always been a tomato hornworm, so this was new for me. Um, but just want to do this video to show you guys how to find them. And they're very, very hard because you see they blend in with the leaves so well. So something else that you look for is the frass. I don't know if you can see right here those black little dots there that is um, worm droppings or frass so follow the damage and follow the frass so looking at that frass you know that there is one that is really really close because of the droppings right there very small so follow the frass follow the damage and what makes them so elusive sometimes you'll see the damage but you don't see any caterpillars is because when the sun starts coming out, they hide under the leaves. See them there, up under that leaf? So what I'm going to do is I am going to spray some BT because I'm pretty sure I have more than this, what, four that I found. Um, I can tell by the damage I have more. So I have two go-tos that I like to use when it comes to um, caterpillars, the spinosad and BT. So because it is daytime and bees are out, I'm not going to use the spinosad because spinosad if it touches wet spin fat sad gets on um, bees it can actually kill bees so I'm gonna actually use the BT today and just to show you the kind of damage that these caterpillars can do to your tomato plants can you see that just eating away at that tomato so overnight caterpillars can decimate a tomato plant so I'm glad I got out here today and I was staking up some of my tomatoes and they will actually um, eat your peppers as well all right so in this video here all I wanted to do is just to show you what to look for if you see that damage on the leaves if you see that black frass then you know you have some type of worm either a harm worm an inch worm an army worm which I think that this is what these are the green striped army worms if you know for sure let me know in the comment section exactly what these worms these caterpillars are um, you know you have them so that's when you start spraying BT or spinosad um, with me today with it being bees being out I'm going to go to the BT um, if it was in the evening I would have sprayed the spinosad but I'm going to go for the BT today so yeah if you see the frass if you see and they're very they're very very hard to see as you can see they blend in with the leaves and it looks like a stem and um, 
they also are very elusive because they hide under the leaves when the sun comes out so I hope this helps someone if you see the damage then just know you have caterpillars and go to work um, getting rid of them so that's what I'm about to do and if you're not sure that you have them when you get the spraying they will start moving <laughs> And so I'm seeing, I just saw two more that I didn't even see originally. Because when that spray hits them, and BT doesn't hurt them. I'm sorry, I'm my sprayer. BT doesn't hurt them. It's just any kind of liquid in general that gets on them. They will start moving. So it's not, not like it hurts them on impact. Just saturate it really good. Make sure you get up on the leaves. Yes. All right, guys. So that's it. I'm going to continue spraying these bad boys. And I just want to thank you so much for watching. And as usual, to Bye-bye.